everybody, this is Matt with remove-malware.com and today I'm going to take a look at the protection abilities of uh, McAfee Internet Security 2009. Uh, basically you're going to go ahead and install McAfee uh, like anybody would right off the shelf without really configuring it. I'm just going to go ahead and update it. And then I'm going to go ahead and download 10 uh, malicious uh, URLs to this PC. Uh, basically, they're either executables or they're uh, drive-by PHP kind of infections. Um, so I'm just going to do a typical setup. And while the product is downloading, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And I'll be right back once uh, once it's download, downloaded uh, and we're starting to install. I'll unpause. Okay, McAfee um, just downloaded. It downloaded pretty quickly. Um, that was the fastest 60 megabytes I've seen in a while. And what it's doing is it says we're quickly scanning your PC for threats and we'll attempt to remove uh, any infections. And then it says, if we can't, we'll let you know how to clean your computer and continue the installation. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that run. I'll be right back. Okay, this is all the stuff it's installing. Uh, it's installing the Security Center, Virus Scan, Personal Firewall, Parental Controls, Anti-Spam, Backup and Restore, Easy Network, Site Advisor. So yes, it does eat quite a bit of RAM. I know because I see this every day when I go out. A lot of people have McAfee installed and you're talking mm, over 100 megs of RAM to run this uh, internet security suite easily. Okay, McAfee's been fully installed and updated. I just want to get right to the um, prevention test. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Internet Explorer here. And you can see Site Advisor is running right in my toolbar because it says Google is an OK site to go to. Um, let's go ahead and bring up some URLs. Uh, some of these should work and I know some of them won't. It's been about a week since these have been released. And we're going to do about 10, and we're looking for the best result uh, possible. And I think that one's bombing out. Let's try another one. Not having any luck tonight. <laughs> okay, here we go. We got one. So let me go ahead and run this. And we're looking for McAfee just to block it. Get rid of it. Let's see what happens. And so far, I don't see McAfee responding at all. And I'm pretty sure that's a malicious file. So, nothing off that. Let's try another one here. Okay, McAfee flagged the site as bad, but let's go ahead and run the URL. Um, we found download. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I just want to go ahead and allow it and see if it actually catches it. Okay, so it automatically qu quarantined a Trojan. Uh, Artemis detected it. Generic Artemis Trojan. 
Artemis is their cloud um, cloud computing antivirus solution. This is a rogue, a really nasty rogue. It's a brand new rogue. Uh, and McAfee detected it and quarantined it, blocked it, and removed it, sorry. I went through all those, didn't I? McAfee removed it. Let's go to number four. Okay, number four, automatically blocked. Uh, it was uh, automatically removed, sorry. Detected as backdoor. And let's move on to number five here. Number five made it through. Uh, I can see it running as a process. And it just terminated itself. But pretty much made it right through. There you go. Bingo. MS Anti Spyware 2009. Uh, it's the latest rogue uh, that I've been seeing this week along with XP Police. Made it right through uh, McAfee, Internet Security 2009. So that was number five. Let's try number six. Number six didn't resolve. Uh, let's go ahead and... Try another number six. Okay, number six was detected as a Trojan and then it was removed. Let's try number eight. Number seven, sorry. I'm losing track. I'm listening to someone talk next, next to me. Uh, number seven was blocked. Whoops. Don't need my site right now. Here's a number eight. Number eight blocked. Number nine. Number nine. Let's try this one. Another thing I want to point out is these sites come up and down so fast that site advisor remains gray 90% of the time. Uh, gray means it doesn't know about the site yet. Number nine was removed. Um, let's try drive by. Whoops. Drive by is like a PHP file um, that will automatically try to load stuff into our PC. Now this site is flagged as green. Uh, obviously, I, I suppose it's been cleaned up because it doesn't do anything. Ooh, let's try another EXE. That's all I have for number 10. And number 10 makes it right through. You can see it having its fun executing right there. Using up about 1.6 megabytes of RAM. 
running freely throughout my system, along with the Rogue Fake Antivirus MS Anti Spyware 2009. So that um, that kind of wraps up the the McAfee prevention test. I think there's far better um, antivirus solutions out there, like a uh, like Kaspersky Internet Security. Uh, Norton Internet Security 2009 blocked everything I threw at it. Um, let's see what else is out there. Uh, those were those were really the two Internet Security packages I love this year so far because they're absolutely perfect. If their if their uh, antivirus engine doesn't detect something, their behavior blocker, which uh, Norton has, has a nice little behavior blocker called Sonar. It'll catch it. And on the Kaspersky Internet uh, security side, you have um, their HIPS product uh, that will go ahead and catch a lot of stuff. And then you can go ahead and add uh, whatever you want um, to their HIPS product and tell it, basically tell it it can't, uh, that it can't execute. It can't do anything to the system. And I'm not sure I see anything like that in uh, McAfee um, 2009. I'm pretty sure they do not have any kind of um, HIPS engine at all, or behavior blocker, anything like that. I don't work with McAfee at all, so I haven't really pre-evaled uh, this thing at all. Nothing that I really see. I see a place where I can add trusted programs, but I don't see any kind of place where I can add bad stuff and just basically tell it that it can't touch my system at all. I mean, I see real-time scanning, and it's pretty basic. It's just a, basically just an antivirus scanner, and you just need so much more these days. And with an Internet security product, if you're going to pick one, go grab Kaspersky Internet Security or Norton Internet Security just for the fact that they have the ability to deal with unwanted programs like MS Anti Spyware 2009. So I hope that helps you decide. Um, that's it for the McAfee uh, Internet Security Test. Uh, that would be McAfee uh, 2009 Internet Security. Talk to you guys later.